And in this video, we're looking at Microsoft Forms and we're looking at the branching feature. So I've gone into a form I've already created. You can see I've added some questions. If I click onto a question, I can click down in the bottom right hand corner where the three dots are, the question settings, and I can see there's a function called add branching. So what is branching? Well, branching allows you to direct students through a quiz or a survey, depending on the answer they gave you. So you can see here, here's my branching options. So I can say if they answered correctly, that they can go on to the, the last one. I'm happy they finish. But if they haven't answered correctly, then I want them to go on to do the next question. I could do that for all of those. And then go on to the next question. If they answer that one correctly, then they can just go to the end. And if they don't, they need to carry on to the next question. So it's a great way to direct students through a survey or a quiz, enabling you to get the answers they need. Now, with this one, we can just do the same thing again. So if they get it correct, they just go to the end of the form. But with the others, you can get them to rate it. So it's a way of directing them through a form or a survey. So having done that, just to show what it looks like from the student perspective, so if I go to share, copy the link, I open up the new tab. So the first time I'm going to get the question right, you can see I've jumped straight to the end of the quiz. If I just repeat that process, copy, paste it into the new tab. This time I'm going to get it purposely wrong. You can see it's asked me to do a further question. So it's a great way to, to differentiate how students are working through a quiz, add an element of difficulty, maybe. It could be that you decide to, that in addition to your additional questions, that you ask them to do different elements as well. It may be you add a video or an image or something that helps them before directing them on. But it's a great way just to, to differentiate, as I've said already, how students navigate through a quiz or a survey making sure that those students who get the answers correct, maybe jump to the end, those students who need a bit more time to understand, get directed to different questions. So I hope you found that video useful. If you did, please like it, please subscribe to the channel and join me again soon for more EdTech videos. Thanks for watching.